Hello, welcome to another video. This is probably the last video you will be seeing with my lovely Christmas tree in the background because once I film this, I'm taking it down, which I'm really sad about. I absolutely love having my Christmas tree up, but we're about to enter into the new year, or we will have by the time you're watching this video, so happy new year. And I just wanted a fresh start. So I thought it was actually keep it up for this one video because this is my Christmas book haul. <laughs> Yes, that was the last time I'm using the intro as well because we're done. We're done with Christmas. It's over. Okay, moving on from that though, with some positivity and the books I received for Christmas. There's quite a fair few here. I don't think I've ever received this many books for Christmas and I'm a little bit overwhelmed by kindness. <laughs> I have received a lot of books from you guys that I am so thankful for. I have gone through opening all of these in last week's and the week you're going to see's vlog because they kind of came over two different weeks and I am so so thankful so thank you so much to anyone who sent me a book for Christmas that is just so so kind of you and I can't believe people would think or want to do that for me so I really appreciate that I can't wait to show you guys what they are. If you'll have seen the previous week's vlog you will have seen a couple of these but there's also books from my family and from friends as well. I'm just sat in a pile of books right now basically. <laughs> I'm gonna go through each book and vaguely talk about them but not go into too much detail because this video will just be very very long if I do that and I have about seven videos I need to film today which is insane and to take down a Christmas tree. So without further ado let's jump in to what books I received for Christmas. I don't want this in any way to come across as a bragging video. I know I'm incredibly, incredibly lucky to receive these books and I am so, so thankful. People asked to see the books I got for Christmas and I really, really love filming these kind of videos because I know this is how I get a hell of a lot of book recommendations by watching other people's hauls. So hopefully this is something you guys enjoy to watch. The first book is Book Love by Debbie Tung. This one was bought for me by Nikki from the TBR Hoarder. Thank you so much, Nikki. And this is a really cute little comic book about the life of someone who loves books or just what it is to love books. And I am so excited to read this one. It looks so cute and just like a really nice, easy little pick up when I'm maybe in between books or reading something quite heavy and want something quite light. So I'm really, really excited to read this one and I'm so pleased to have it because it's just so cute. Who doesn't want a little comic about loving books? These next two books are from the same person. This person also bought me a picnic blanket off of my other wish list, which is something I've had on there for a while for when it's sunnier. And I can think of no better thing to do than read these books on the picnic blanket and I can't believe how kind this person has been. So these books are from Caitlin, who has got me the second and third book in the Darker Shade of Magic series, Gathering of Shadows and Conjuring of Light, in the special hardback editions by Victoria Schwab. Caitlin, this is too much and you are so kind and I never expected this. I'm so excited to have these. I don't have these in hardback at all. I've just got the paperback editions. So to have the hardbacks is just so exciting and I cannot wait to be able to put all of these books on my shelves because I've been having them piled up so I can do this video. So thank you so so much Caitlin for allowing me to spread out my collection. <laughs> this next book is gifted to me by Moon from Moon Kestrel and I am so excited to have this one because it's been on my wish list for ages. I think since like the start of the summer maybe when a lot of people started talking about it. It's magic-y, there's bending of reality. It is A Carter Witch and this is by Nedi Okorafor. I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly but I am ecstatic to read this. This is about somebody that gets involved in a quartet of magicians and they're entering this magical ability to be able to bend reality and what's visible and what's invisible and I'm sure there's a lot of adventure on the side of that but the initial thing that grabbed me to it was that idea of bending reality because I love the film Inception and that really deals with bending reality and I love how that makes your brain work and I'm expecting this book to be fantastic because of that bending reality premise. Also, beautiful cover. Cannot wait to read it. Thank you so, so much, Moon. Next up is Sourdough by Robin Sloan, and this was very kindly gifted to me by my friend Hamza. This is by the same author of Mr. Penumbra's 24 Hour Bookstore, which if you have watched me vlogs back in like the summer autumn time, you'll know I adored that book. Someone recommended me this one recently, so I added it to my wish list because apparently it's the same ilk of weirdness of Mr. Penumbra's. 
and I need more of that in my life. I think this one follows a main character who is a coder and I'm very excited to read it. Thank you so much, Hamza. Next up, this was gifted by Aoife and this is A Universe of Wishes. This is by loads of different authors and is captioned at the top as a We Need Diverse Books anthology. So this is lots of stories within one book. A couple of the authors from the top line are Samira Ahmed, Jenny Balch, Lieber Bray, Danielle Clayton, we've also got Victoria Schwab, Natalie C. Parker, Tessa Grayton, Rebecca Roanhorse, Nick Stone, Tara Sin. There's so, so many people, like I, I won't read them all out, but there's absolutely loads and I'm so excited to read this. Again, this is one that I've heard brilliant things about and added to my wishes around the summertime because everyone was saying how good it is. I believe this is an anthology of fantasy short stories and I'm really excited. I don't often pick up anthologies but I was really intrigued by this one because the author list looks fantastic and I also think this is a really good way for me to find more authors to read because there's so many here for me to explore. So really, really excited about this one. Thank you so much Aoife. Then I have got Paris by the book and this was sent to me by Megan. Thank you so much, Megan. And this is by Liam Callanan. I think I had this issue when I unboxed it as well, but the font is so swirly. This is a book about books. It's about a woman whose husband goes missing and she tries to follow his trail and ends up finding a unpublished manuscript that he's written that kind of helps her go on this voyage of trying to search for him, I think. It's a book about books. It's a kind of mystery. I'm excited. We know these are the kind of books I absolutely love. Basically, I'm just excited to read every single one of these books. Are we shocked? Probably not. Then we have got Some Kind of Wonderful by Giovanna Fletcher. This was sent to me by Ian. Thank you so much, Ian. I recently watched I'm Celebrity Get Me Out of Here with Giovanna Fletcher in it, and I have read other books by her, and watching her on a slab, I was like, I want to read more by her. She's such a fun, positive, uplifting human being, and I want to support her books. So I put this one on my wish list because this one spoke to me the most. It is about a woman who sees all her friends going through these points of life that she thinks she should be at, and then she goes through a breakup and tries to kind of find herself outside of that and who she is on her own and that is pretty much something that I have been doing for like the past two years so I can totally sympathize and empathize with this character and I'm really interested to read this and see what kind of perspective this book takes on. Thank you Ian. There's so many more still to go guys, so many. This next one was bought for me by Ross, thank you so so much Ross. I'm so excited to read this because I have just finished a book by the same author. And that is The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. I've just finished One by One by Ruth Ware and oh my god, amazing thriller. So, so good. And I have been highly recommended this one. So of course, again, had to add it to the wish list. This follows a nanny who is wrongly accused of a child's murder and her being sentenced in prison for that and actually being guilty of something else, but we're not sure what. Judging by One by One, Ruth's Ware, Ruth Ware's writing is fantastic and I'm gonna absolutely love it. So I am very, very excited to read this one. Thank you so, so much, Ross. Then we have got The Readers of Broken Wheel Recommend, which is a title I keep getting wrong for some reason by Katerina Bivald, Bivald? Katerina Bivald, pronunciation awful. Is this a translated book? Hang on. Yes, it is. It's a translated fiction. I didn't even realize that. It's translated from Swedish by Alice Menzies exciting okay this one was bought for me by chloe thank you so much chloe for unknowingly giving me a book that is translated fiction to add it to my translated fiction master list that is very very slowly growing but nonetheless growing i'm very excited about this one because it just seems like a really lovely genuine concept it's about a woman who moves to a town and realizes that it's lacking a bookshop and she wants to bring a bookshop to it and it's about that journey it seems like it's got vibes of the guernsey literary potato peel pie society which i really enjoyed as well so i'm very excited to get to this one and again a book about books which we know i love i'm being hit by a sunbeam ah okay <laughs> pushing through we have then got earthlings by sayaka murata which i'm so excited to read because i recently read the convenience store woman by sayaka murata and i really really loved that so i absolutely had to add this to my wish list not only also because of the very cute hedgehog on the front this one was sent to me by Gemma. thank you so much Gemma. and i'm actually going to read you the bottom line from the blurb to kind of give you an overview of this one because honestly I, I don't know what direction this is going to go in because the back talks about the woman, this woman's life who is basically waiting for a spaceship to come pick her up as a kid and then something terrible seems to happen and then we go to her as a grown-up who and she's in an asexual marriage pretending to be normal hiding the horrors of her childhood from her family and friends but I don't know what those horrors are. So the last line says a dark and magical reckoning with what it might take to survive a shattering life. Earthlings is an exhilarating comic cosmic flight that will leave you reeling. Thank you so much, Gemma. 
Then I have got Kat Dunn's Dangerous Remedies, which was sent to me by Steph, and I'm so excited to read this one as well. Obviously I'm excited to read all of these, otherwise they wouldn't have been on my wish list. This one is looks a little bit Six of crows to me in the sense of like we've got a band of people coming together around a revolution in the 1700s, yeah, late 1700s. Very excited to read this, also obsessed with this cover because the green is just beautiful and there's so much going on there and I feel like it's all gonna become clear once I've read the book. But everyone said this was fantastic when it came out, so I'm really excited to read it. Then Livy sent me Heartstopper Volume 2. I've read Volume 1 and really want to continue now that I have read Nick and Charlie and This Winter, which are both Alice Osman novellas. Obviously these are the series that follow Nick and Charlie within their graphic novel world, very, very excited to have this one. So thank you so much to Livy for getting me this one. Now I also received the third volume of Heartstopper as well, which is very exciting because it means I can binge them, but this one didn't come with a note. So if you're watching this and this was you, you bought this for me, thank you so, so much. Please let me know so I can thank you properly because I'm sad they didn't come with a note. I don't know if it was meant to come with a note or if it was an anonymous, an, an anonymous, an anonymous gift. But either way, thank you so much. I cannot wait to dive into this series. Then Immy bought me Get A Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. I have heard so much about this one online and I'm so excited to be able to read it. Thank you so much, Immy. I actually didn't look at this one for so long because I thought it was a YA contemporary and I'm moving away from YA contemporary more into adult contemporary. And then I realized, no, it's an adult contemporary. Oh, what is this son doing? I'm so sorry, we're just gonna push through it. Which is very exciting because it means I was very much more interested to read it because I find adult contemporary is much more relatable now the older I get versus reading about like school romances and things. I'm not as much into that at the moment. I've talked about that a lot recently. We don't need to go into it again, but this follows Chloe Brown as she decides she wants to really get a life and go through and take a load of stuff off on her list. And she goes about it with, I assume this chap here to try and achieve this. So I'm very excited to read this because I've heard only good things. And I don't have many adult contemporaries. So this is exciting. This next one was gifted to me not only by Rachel, but also by Binks the Cat. <laughs> this is The Little Shop of Found Things by Paula Braxton. This has been on my wish list ever since I saw an ad for it on Facebook and learned that it is set in a town called Marlborough, which is a town I have visited frequently as a child and is actually in between two towns that one I currently live in and one where my family lives. And it's like in the middle almost. So Marlborough holds a special place for me. I love Marlborough, I go regularly. And the fact that this is set there was exciting enough. Also, this just sounds magical. It's about a girl who can tell the backstory of an object when she touches it. And she works in her mum's antique shop and is suddenly transported back in time when she touches one object, I think. And it's kind of outlandery. It's honestly not the kind of genre I would usually go for, but I really, really fancy it. And I actually started this one last night by reading one page <laughs> just to see whether it was what I fancied to bring in the new year or not. So I'm gonna read a little bit more today and see if it is what I fancy right now, or if maybe I'll read it later in the month. But I'm really excited about this one. So so thank you so much to Rachel and Binks the cat. Oh my god, the most horrendous lighting. Why is this happening? Ah, uh, okay, we're gonna push through. Next up is Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. This was bought for me by my friend Lily. Thank you so much, Lily. This is a book that nobody has said a bad word about from what I can see. Everyone's really loving it. It is about a young boy who summons a ghost and can't get rid of him. Yes, yeah, summons a ghost. That's kind of cool that he can do that in the first place, but now he can't get rid of this specific ghost. And I am excited. I assume one of these guys is the summoner and one of them is the ghost. And I don't know who this person is here. Is that death? I have recently been seeing a couple of tweets about this book, particularly over the last month, and it's getting me hyped to read it. So I think this might be one I get to in either February, January or February. Thank you so much, Lily. I forgot to say we've kind of transitioned into books that my friends got me. Then my friend Lauren bought me The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. Now Lauren has been telling me I need to read this for a while. And I thought, you know what? I'll add it to my wish list. And of course she bought it for me. All I know is I believe this is a hate enemies to lovers, hate to love romance, adult romance, contemporary thing. I don't know. Lauren says it's really good. She says I'll enjoy it. I'm going to trust her judgment there. Thank you so much, Lauren. I realise I've not been telling anyone anyone's handles, but Lauren, Fiction Tea, Lily, A Home for the Lost, and more Lauren next. Lauren also got me two graphic novels. She got me the first and second, whichever order they are, first and second fence novels. So the first one was on my wish list and she's gone and got me the second one as well. She's told me these are fantastic. I am completely trusting her here because a fencing graphic novel isn't exactly the kind of thing I would have thought, yes, that. But she said they're brilliant and she's binged them. So 
I'm gonna trust her and I'm excited to read these. And it also means I actually have a growing graphic novel collection, which is very exciting. Then my friend Vicky bought me Susanna Clarke's Piranesi, which looks a little bit gothic, a little bit creepy, definitely something that is gonna be perfect for October. It seems to be about somebody that is in a house with this other person called The Other, from what I can see, and messages start appearing on the walls and things start going wrong. I am intrigued. I have been very hyped for this one, strangely, because I have not read Susanna Clarke's other book, which is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. That one is chonky and intimidating, but I thought maybe I'd start here and see how I feel about her writing style. So thank you so much, Vicky, for this one. I'm so sorry about the sun. I could just move. Let's move. Okay, that, that'll hold us off for another few minutes. <laughs> Then my friend Connie from Connie Reads bought me Escaping from Houdini by Kerry Maniscalco. I have been slowly reading through this series. It's the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. I don't know what the actual series is called. Is there a name for a The Kerry Maniscalco mystery Audrey Rose Thomas Cresswell series. These are YA mystery thrillery historically books. <laughs> they follow a young girl and guy who are solving mysteries and looking at crimes from the perspective of pathologists? Is that what they are? They look at the bodies and kind of end up getting more involved than that. Is that the right word? I don't know. But Connie has been raving about this series for so long and I didn't continue with it after not absolutely loving the first one. Then Connie and Lauren both persuaded me to read the second one. And then they persuaded me to add the third and fourth also onto my wish list, so. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> I am excited to read this one because I really, really loved The Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. And I have been told that the last two in this series are absolutely brilliant too. The reason that the first two didn't completely hook me is because I guessed where it was going. So I'm hoping that the next two surprise me more. And I also really like the cover of this one. I like the blue, very striking. And it's also set in a carnival setting, which is a win for me as well. These next books have all been bought for me by my family. There is like the highlight sat right there. It's gonna be the last books I show you because I'm, I'm really hyped. First up though, we've got Dear Reader by Kathy Rensenbrink. Brink? Rensenbrink. It's basically been described as a love letter to books and I'm really excited because these kind of books just make me love reading even more. And it's kind of a book about a book, even if it's a non-fiction book about a book. And you've already seen the other two, but my dad and family bought me A Darker Shade of Magic by Victoria Schwab, the first in these lovely hardback editions. And now I've finally hauled them for you. I can put them on my shelves. Then my mum and co, bought me three books. So the first one is a cooking book. You didn't think I'd be calling it a cooking book, did you? This is Mary Berry's Quick Cooking because I am living alone and need to properly learn how to cook. And I have already ordered a couple of bits of items for food for this, so I can hopefully make some recipes. It's quite easy if anyone's looking for a cookbook like very short instructions which hopefully means easy quick meals to make and pictures so you know what it's meant to look like slash what yours doesn't look like. <laughs> My mum also got me 500 Beautiful Words You Should Know by Carolyn Taggart. This is basically just a little dictionary of beautiful words that you should know. So I'm gonna randomly pick a page and read you one. Jostle, to knock or push against someone, especially in a crowd or confined space. My mum loves etymology in words and I think I've gained a little bit of that love of trying to understand what different words mean. Obviously I did know the word jostle but there's various different ones in here that I don't know as well so my mum bought this for me and said maybe I could do like a word a day and involve them in my blog posts or my Instagram and I thought that was really nice so I'm definitely going to start looking at a word a day when the new year comes around which is by the time you're watching this so I would have already started utilising this. My mum also got me The Madman's Library. This is by Edward Brooke Hitching, and on the front it says, The Strangest Books, Manuscripts, and Other Literary Curiosities from History. My mum has such a knack for finding books like this, but this basically <laughs> shows amazingly weird books throughout history. I have already read a bit of this on Christmas and Boxing Day, I think, and I have been really enjoying the absolute weirdness of it. This is where I'm up to at the moment, where there's a book printed on a cardigan, jumper, jacket, it's very interesting to see the different transformations of how literature was portrayed throughout time because obviously we see ebooks, we see physical books, and we see how books have been added online as well. But this, this really goes deep into a, a whole other world. And finally, from my aunt and uncle, we've got the Lord of the Rings 
pocket leather bound hardback editions. I have wanted these for so long and I've just never been able to justify it and I absolutely adore them. I know people are probably wondering where these are from. The only place I've ever found you can get these is either Amazon or Book Depository which is a shame but that is the only place I've been able to find them and they are called the Leatherbound Pocket Editions I think but we've got The Hobbit and then each of the Lord of the Rings books. They're absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to add these to my shelves and you know what? They're also kind of floppy which I am here for. Like look, look at the floppy. Like oh I just, the, these are just absolutely beautiful and I cannot wait to put these on my shelves and just keep going my Lord of the Rings collection. <laughs> so that is all the books I received for Christmas. This is going to be a long video, I can already tell. I am so lucky and so thankful to have received all these books and thank you so much to anyone that's watching this that bought me a gift that is just so kind. I think my wish list has pretty much been emptied so that's like a year of me building up books that I've liked and adding them on and now I've pretty much got all the books that I want. I think there's like five books left on my wish list which is nuts because I'm the kind of person that like really struggles to build up a wish list and then when I finally build it up I'm, I'm so satisfied and I'm like oh look at all these books that I want to read and now I'm like oh my god I have them all now I can actually read them. I'm feeling super super hyped to read. I always feel really 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 hyped to read at the start of the new year because I'm definitely motivated to read books that I absolutely love and just really enjoy my reading and not set myself much pressure and just have fun with it really so that is what I intend to do. Thank you guys so much for watching this video everything's gonna be no Christmas tree going forward which is so sad but I'm gonna take this down now sadness and then I'm gonna film like another 50 million videos. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what your best book that you received for Christmas was or your best present in general. And you can subscribe to see more of my face on your feed. And also all the really exciting videos I have planned for January because there's gonna be some good ones. Thank you guys so much. Keep smiling, stay positive, And I hope you have a really, really fantastic 2021. Come on, we can do this.